Uh, man, you know, what is a message to some of the kids that's watching you and listening to your music? Um, I would say passion, man. I know the, the cliche thing is to stay in school, do all of that. Man, passion. You know, follow and trust what you're passionate about, whatever that may be, man. You know, um, make sure that you self-educate, read books, ask questions. I always tell my son, never be afraid to ask a question. It's no such thing as a dumb question. So stay inquisitive and stay asking questions, man, and do what you love, no matter what. Right, never right. Let nobody tell you what you can't do. Right. So how you hope that would be real for the hit song that you got, Make a Move? Man, it was Manifestation. I wrote the record, Make a Move, riding in the car. Shout out to EQ. He produced the record. And um, I knew the beat was a hit. I just knew I had to put the right lyrics to it. Put the lyrics to it, wrote in my phone, featuring DJ Be Real. I hadn't seen him in 10 years. I put this on my son. The next day after I wrote Make a Move, I went to the gas station. Be Real pulled up on side of me in the car. I told him, I said, you'll never believe I got a hit that I wrote with us. He jumped in my car, heard it. I told him, man, when you come back from Atlanta, let's record it. We got in the studio in about four days. And literally, from like a one take, we knocked the whole record out in about 30 to 45 minutes. And I stood over him as he mixed and mastered it, man. And it's been history. I took it straight to the DJs after that. Okay, okay. Well, I see you like when you're on social media, man. I see you keep a good relationship with the DJs. Yeah. Can you explain how important it is for networking for the, you know what I'm saying, keep your relationship with the DJs, you know, as building your brand? Yes, no. I have a movement called Respect the DJs, man. The DJs are very, very, very important, man. Um, they the people that get us out to, to the people, you know. You can either go get a touch 100,000 people or you can go touch 100 DJs that can touch a million people. Now, you still do both. You touch the streets, you kiss the babies, you hug the people, but you, you build a relationship with the DJs, man. And um, you just make sure that they that they feel like they're important. Most of the time, us as artists, we go to the DJs saying, what can you do for me? But we never ask, what can we do for them? It's a two-way street, man. Right, so right. Um, to any artist that's watching this, just very some small key things. Get to the club early, man. Ask the DJ, can you bring their equipment in? Get their number. Ask them, man, how can they build a relationship with, with them? And then when the club over with, if you still let, ask them do they need to bring their equipment to the car. Ask them what's a good time they can follow up. You can follow up with them and they ask them, you know, when can you listen to my record? Right, right, right. So, uh, you know. Okay, real, real, real quick before we get up out of here, man. What are a couple of do's and don'ts for a couple of artists who are trying to break into the rap game? And since you've been into the music industry, what's a couple of uh, likes and dislikes that you like about it? About the music industry, period. Yes, sir. Uh, I would say to dudes, man, keep your face card clean. Um, keep keep your word when you're talking to people, man. Make sure your presentation is on point. I know everybody don't come from a good background. I didn't always look like this, but I always made sure if I told somebody I was going to do something, I was going to do it. Um, I said another do is, man, make sure you build relationships. That's in life, not even in the music industry. Learn other people, man, and try to learn what they do. See if there's any way y'all can help each other. Um, your, your network is your net worth. Um, and I guess some don'ts, man, is, you know, uh, just not being fake. You know what I'm saying? Don't, don't lie to people, you know. In this industry, it's a lot of sharks and snakes, but the people that stand tall is the ones that stand on morals and principles. So I say the don'ts is, man, don't try to take advantage of people. You know, if anything, man, you stay solid and you stay solid when people in the room and when they not in the room. And I promise you, over time, it might look like the fake winning, but the people that stand tall, they always emerge from the smoke. I promise you that. All right. Well, we definitely giving you flowers while you're here, man. You know what I mean? So, Power to Tell TV, man, y'all be on the lookout for his music. All his links going to be down below. And tap in or tap out. We out. It's Box the Hungry Jeans, and I'm rocking with Power to Tell TV. Uh, you know.